In a recent video, we talked about 13 small habits that can create a chain reaction of positive benefits throughout your life. Well, in today's video, we will provide 9 additional small habits that can change your life. Now be sure to watch this whole video to the end, because I will provide a free tool to take action on what you're about to learn. And finally, if you enjoy the content of this video, then please help us out by taking a few seconds to hit the like button. Let's get to it. Number 1. Review your goals. Everybody has goals. Unfortunately, life often prevents us from focusing on what we want to accomplish. That's why it's important to review goals daily, so you can create an action plan of what you need to do to make progress on these outcomes. Goals can be set for the day, week, month, quarter, or year. But as I recommended in a recent video, you should create up to five goals for each quarter or every three months. To get started, keep your goals in an easy to access place. This could be in a binder or an app like Evernote. Then, once or twice a day, take five minutes to review these goals. During this review, read each goal aloud and think about the tasks you have scheduled for the day. For each item on your to-do list, ask yourself, how does this action bring me closer to one of my goals? If you can't come up with a good answer, then perhaps it's a task that should be skipped or delegated. Number 2. Track time for your activities. Have you ever finished a workday knowing you've worked hard but don't feel like you've accomplished anything? This often happens because you overestimate time spent on work tasks and underestimate time spent on disruptive activities like talking to coworkers checking Facebook, or browsing your phone. A quick fix to these interruptions is to track your work time. The benefit of this small habit is it gives a true understanding on what you're accomplishing, where you're spending the most time, and what activities are a waste of effort. The simplest way to track your time is to use one of two apps. The first is Rescue Time, which tracks your time on specific programs and websites. This is the perfect solution for anyone who knows they waste time but needs more information about their problem areas. Rescue Time runs in the background and sends you a report at the end of each week, so you'll know exactly how much time you're spending on different software applications and websites. The second option is to manually track your time using an app like a time logger. You can use this tool to create buckets for each aspect of your job and then start stop the timer whenever you're working on a task related to one of these categories. This app is perfect for anyone who wants to maximize their productivity by spending the optimal amount of time on the important things related to their job or business. Number 3. Write a done list. Many people struggle with a to-do list because they feel demotivated whenever they fail to check off every item on this list. So another option is to create a done list where you jot down all the tasks you achieved for the day. This will help create motivation about what you'll work on the next morning. To build this habit, get in the practice of writing down the tasks as you complete them. You can do this on paper or in apps like I Done This. 4. Practice random acts of kindness. Kindness is contagious. When you do something nice for a stranger for no reason, they feel good and will hopefully pass it on to someone else. Everybody wins, and the world is a slightly better place. That's why you should consider practicing random acts of kindness whenever you're out in the world. The best time for this habit is when you're around other people. Here are a few ideas to help you get started. Helping an elderly person with their groceries. Paying for a person's coffee who is behind you in line. Helping someone whose car is broken down on the side of the road looking for reasons to compliment strangers, holding doors open for others, leaving behind random positive notes to brighten a stranger's day, adding a couple of coins to a parking meter about to expire, picking up trash and recyclables that you see on the street or in the woods, leaving big tips for a waiter or waitress. Also, if you want to see what others are doing and share some of your own experiences with this habit, Check out Kindness.org, which is a social media site for people interested in helping others. Number 5. 
Unsubscribe from catalogs and junk mail. Most of the mail you receive is a waste of both your time and money. Not only do these items fill your life with pointless clutter, they can also be a prompt to spend your hard-earned money on things you probably don't need. So if you're serious about eliminating needless spending from your life, then one of the simplest ways to do this is to get rid of junk mail and catalogs. This is a small elephant habit that requires consistent effort every month if you want to get rid of all unwanted mail. You see, whenever you offer up your mailing address for coupons of free stuff, these companies can sell your information to third-party vendors. This means that if you've signed up for dozens of offers, then you'll need to build a habit where you regularly opt out from the various places that are responsible for sending junk mail. Get started by using services like Catalog Choice, dmachoice.org, and outofprescreen.com to eliminate most unwanted mailings. Links to these services will be in the description box of this video. Number 6. Find something free to do. It's possible to get out of the house and enjoy yourself without spending money. But many people often overlook this tactic because they think it doesn't sound as fun as an expensive vacation or a lavish night out. But if you take time to research free activities in your area, then you can enjoy something fun without it negatively impacting your financial situation. To get started, dedicate 5 to 10 minutes each week to planning your schedule. Check your local paper or community calendar, or do a quick Google search for upcoming events. Then choose a few you'd like to do and write them down in your calendar so you don't forget about them. Here are some suggestions of fun activities that are completely free. Leverage your library. Most librarians have extensive CD and DVD collections, activities for children, film nights, book clubs, and many other events. Play your favorite board game with the family. Figure out a walking tour of a local town or city. Visit a free museum or zoo. Volunteer at a nearby charity or church event. Set aside time to just relax and read books or watch movies. Join a local club for a hobby that you love. Plan a relaxing bike ride with your family in a scenic part of your area. Notice how all these ideas are completely free? Most of the time, people gravitate to expensive activities because they don't take the time to plan ahead. But if you set aside time during a weekly stack, you can easily find fun stuff to do that doesn't cost much. Number 7. Check your billing statements. There are many small charges that are tacked on to your monthly bill statements, like your credit cards, cable, internet, utilities, and debit cards. All of these charges might seem like a small amount, but when you add them up, the total amount wasted each month can be startling. They are the proverbial death of a thousand cuts. But if you create a monthly habit to review these bills, you can identify opportunities to reduce or eliminate your recurring expenditures. Once a month, go through each statement and highlight any questionable item. Also, if you feel that you're spending too much money in a specific category, then earmark that expenditure. You can call this company and negotiate a lower price, which you can learn how to do in the resource that we provide in the description box of this video. Number 8. Replace one food item. You probably know it's important to eat healthier, but sometimes it's hard to make smart food choices when you're tired, stressed out, and overbooked. So one simple habit you can build is to make a single food substitution each day. Many foods have common alternatives that are a lot healthier. These choices are often lower in calories and almost always have better vitamins and nutrients. Swapping out food not only improves your health, but it can also positively impact your weight loss efforts. To get started, in the morning when you're planning your day, think about what you're going to eat. After going through this mental list, make a commitment to swap out just one of these items with a healthy alternative. Here are just a few examples of substitutions you can make. Soda with tea or seltzer water. Rice with quinoa. Bacon with turkey bacon. White bread with whole grain bread. Mayonnaise with mustard or avocado. Ground beef with ground turkey. Milk with almond milk. Eggs with egg beaters or two egg whites for each egg vegetable oil with coconut oil, 
croutons in salads with almonds, bread with pita, iceberg lettuce with arugula, romaine, spinach, and or kale. These are just a few ideas you can use to slowly build healthier eating habits. You'll consume just as much food, but what you eat will be of a higher quality while typically having fewer calories. And if you'd like to learn more about this topic, I'd highly recommend checking out David Zingzeko's Eat This, Not That series of books. Number 9. Take Frequent Walking Breaks Walking is one of the best ways to get regular exercise without it negatively impacting your busy schedule. While some people prefer a scheduled time of day to get exercise, others find that it's better to walk throughout their workdays, specifically between blocks of focused effort at work. To get started, you could create a simple if-then statement, like, whenever I finish a work-related task, I will get up and walk for five minutes. Sure, this might feel weird at first, but eventually you'll become comfortable with taking a walk whenever you complete a task. In theory, you should take a walking break every hour, and if you add that up, that's about 30 to 40 minutes of regular exercise, or two miles, completed during a normal workday. Did you like these nine small habits that can change your life? If so, let's talk about the free tool that I promised in the introduction in this video. The strategies that I just discussed require you to build habits into your daily routine. So if you want to take immediate action, then be sure to check out the description box where you'll find a habit tracking template you can download and print out. And if you want a simple system for creating positive habits in your life, then click and watch our video on the 9-step process for building a habit that sticks.